Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another Baya Zoo Speedbuilt video. And in this episode, I felt like we really had to do something about that ugly open space that is meant to become a nice staff area with many different facility buildings. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 7 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description down below, you will get an amazing discount and you will also be supporting the channel. And to celebrate this awesome collaboration, we are doing a special giveaway where you can win a game of your choice. So just click the link in the description of this video, enter the game or DLC you would like to win and participate. Good luck! So this staff area is located right in between almost all of the habitats we have built so far. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm a little bit overreacting. But this staff area is located in between the Aardvark, Meerkat, Fennec Fox and White Rhino habitat. If you really look at the habitats, the most close to it basically. Now for the building itself, I got a bit inspired of a staff building I had in my Desert franchise series a while back. Not that I went back to look at this building, but just as a bit of a reference, I remembered it has like this little plaza in the middle with many staff buildings around it and even like this second layer with some more staff buildings. I honestly cannot remember who made it, but it, it definitely was something in my hat that I was like, that is something I'm going to use as inspiration for this staff building. So I first just started moving the staff buildings I had already put down to just try and see if I could create like a nice shape for the building. Later on I obviously added more staff buildings to it, not per se that we all need them, but this definitely is also intended for like decorational purpose I guess. I mean I also added a lot of these research buildings as well for like mechanics and vats, but we clearly won't be needing them at all in this sandbox zoo, but it does look really nice for the idea I guess. So the style of the building is definitely made with the Africa pack with a lot of the plaster wall set pieces and also the use of like colorful tiles and stuff. Like the flooring on the second layer will be completely covered with these tiles and on the ground floor I will be using more of these tiles for like this little middle plaza I guess. Now, I am definitely stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone here. I mean, as I normally don't really build like this thematic, I feel, but for this backstage area, I don't really mind making an exception, to be honest. And it also gives me a chance to play around a little bit with pieces of the pack I would normally not even be using in my normal builds. Like these frames around the arches, for example, and even the tiled planter and like this little wall fountain would not really be something I will be using super often even though we are building in like an African zoo I don't really think I will be using them that fast to be completely honest now I hear you think geez lady compared to real life zoos and their backstage area this actually looks pretty fancy uh-huh I didn't realize that <laughs> I think most backstage areas in zoos are actually pretty plain and boring, I think. I like, I, I, I can't really say that I've ever been there, but like the pictures that I've seen, I guess. But hey, why not give a nice looking backstage area for your staff who are working all day long in this terrible heat? I mean, it's it's 37 degrees right now in my speedboat video. It's like the least we can do for these hardworking people in here, right? No, but seriously, I do realize it may be a little bit too fancy for backstage area, but I really don't mind. I was really enjoying myself when building this, as it's also a little bit different than building like a normal habitat in the most videos that we do. So yeah, I really did like doing something else here for a change. Now we are also going to add some habitats to this backstage area, as I just felt like it would be nice to have a small section dedicated to this as well, because I can totally see that like an animal is sick for example, and needs treatment from a vet for maybe like a longer period of time, so like moving the animals around from habitat to the vet doesn't make that much sense I guess. So now obviously there are just very small habitats, so this would have really be suitable for like a white rhino or something so they do have to move for that still <laughs> but 
these areas do feel suitable for like the smaller animals like a fennec fox or an ant frog or meat cats for example which are all basically really close to this area so it all makes total sense so yeah that is why i actually added also one fennec fox and two meerkats in this backstage area as well to yeah give a little bit of the feeling that things are alive and, and the staff is working super hard to make them better and stuff like this area obviously won't be visible for the guests so they are really there for the idea that the vets can have like a close eye to them and, and i actually really do like that idea now throughout the whole area i did add like a lot of the cardboard boxes with like fruit in them like the oranges and apples and also sometimes added like a pineapple or like a melon now in real life you should definitely not do this as in the terrible heat i don't think this fruit would survive that long so we just pretend that the staff just put it there temporarily right <laughs> Now I honestly just tried to grab as many small props as possible to decorate this staff area a little bit more as I do think these backstage areas will look a bit more messy than the rest of the zoo I guess. So I did find it fitting to add some more stuff around here. Also think of these little wooden wagons and like bags and I don't know actually what is in these bags but hey they just work super nice for decorations I guess so, and it definitely just gives the area a little extra touch of detail and mess i guess <laughs> i also added like a lot of these chill chairs all around the area because we should obviously give our staff also some places to rest after all this walking in the warm weather we thought of everything no we did not <laughs> no actually in all honesty i did not really look up any pictures of the backstage area so this is definitely more of my imagination for this whole area now obviously these two backstage habitats are not decorated decorated that much like they both have a little shelter and i think i added like one or two trees maybe in both habitats so the rest is mostly just coverage with like long african grass and some aquatic rocks and some simple toys and enrichment items and definitely the grass being more of like the idea that they did not like mow the grass for a long time they actually did not pay too much attention to these backstage habitats to keep them all neat so that is simply why i added a little bit extra african grass i guess now, I don't really often work on these backstage areas, so I think we could say that this is pretty much the first time focusing a little bit more on the backstage area, or at least not that I really can remember that we ever really dedicated a whole episode to a backstage area, now, did we? I really can't remember, but correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the comments down below. But yeah, for the first time working on this area, with, to be honest, not looking up any real life references, I think it is pretty all right. At least I do <laughs> So, do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this new Abaya Zoo episode with, yeah, a little bit different subject for a change. Just leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and if this video inspired you for your own builds, of course. Also, do let me know what other animals you would like to see next in Abaya Zoo. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to check out the giveaway with the link in the description. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!